Some time ago, we became interested in uh, methods of supplementing trace minerals to that pre-weaned calf. That's the calf that's still suckling the mother prior to the weaning response or prior to that activity of weaning, which uh, as I described earlier, is the, the most stressful event that calf will ever experience. And our thought was is that if we could find a method to bolster or optimize trace mineral status of that calf prior to weaning, then we would better optimize the chances of that calf to uh, resist disease pressures after weaning and have a, a, a higher likelihood of good performance and high health status. So we started down this path of looking at concentrating small amounts of supplemental feed with minerals. And what we found is, is that these calves were very um, uh, reluctant to consume these feeds when they contained uh, highly concentrated uh, amounts of essential trace minerals. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the feedstuffs because we could take those same feeds and provide it to the mature cows or bulls and they would eat it fine. But the calves were very finicky, very, very sensitive to, to their consumption. And so a group of uh, researchers uh, that had been looking at our data and criticizing our data and helping us through the process suggested that maybe it was a solubility of the trace minerals such as copper, zinc, and manganese that we were feeding and that uh, these highly soluble forms of those metals could be producing what we, we consider a tasted version in the mouth as they begin to dissolve. Much like what uh, humans might recognize if you've ever had a metal taste in your mouth like an aluminum foil or tin foil type of a, of a taste. Well, we're not able to ask the calf what they're actually tasting or adverse to, but we started looking at uh, trace mineral sources that were lesser soluble at neutral pH. And the hydroxychlorides uh, have this distinct uh, characteristic of being uh, less soluble than the sulfate sources of the same essential metals. And so that's what we did. And we took those formulations and compared intake, preferential intake, when um, uh, we would use the lesser soluble forms of copper, zinc, and manganese. And what we learned is, is that the calves eat the, the, the supplement very well. In fact, our published research would show that the calves will consume the supplements with hydroxychloride forms of these uh, essential metals at the same rate or same level that uh, calves consuming supplements with no trace metals.